The question says ABC is an isosceles triangle where AB is equal to AC. So this is a triangle and it's given that this triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. You know that a triangle where two sides are equal and uh, that's AB is mentioned equal to AC. We have already been given that the length AB is equal to AC. Further, it's given that the AD bisects exterior angle PAC. This is angle PAC and AD is this, right? So AD is the bisector of this angle PAC. That means we have this angle is equal to this angle, right? So we should uh, represent them symbolically also. We have these two angles as equal. So let's write down. Let's say I take this angle as one and this being angle two. We are given these two angles are equal. Now, as we proceed, what does it say further? It says that even CD is parallel to AB. Now, this is CD, this line CD, and this is given parallel to AB. So, these two sides are equal. And we have two parts to prove. In the first part, what we have to prove here is angle DAC, that is this angle. DAC is this, right? This is DAC. This angle, DAC is equal to angle BCA and that is angle BCA is this angle. We have to prove these angles as equal in the first part. Right. So it's better if you can name this angle before. That means we have to prove angle 3 is equal to angle 4. And in the next part, we have to prove this figure ABCD a parallelogram. That means this figure ABCD is a parallelogram. Now, primarily for proving the first part, we are going to use uh, two important properties. And that is angles opposite to equal sides are equal. And the second, that is the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angle. Primarily, we'll be using these two property. So let's uh, prove the first part. That is, we are going to prove here that is angle two is equal to angle three. Let's see how can we prove it. First, We'll use the information given, which is ABC being, being an isosceles triangle where two sides AB and AC are equal. So we can write in triangle ABC, we have AB is equal to AC. And what we know that if two sides are equal, then the angles opposite to these two sides are equal. So we can see that the angle opposite to, angle opposite to AB is angle 3 and angle opposite to AC is angle B. So even we can name this angle, say angle 4. So once again, we have AB and AC as equal. So therefore, we can write angle opposite to AB, that is 3, should be equal to angle opposite to AC, that is 4. So we can write this angle 3 is equal to angle 4. And the reason is this. So let's mark this equation as 1. And when we obtain the other informations, we have this uh, as an exterior angle. We're going to use this property that is exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of its two interior opposite angle. And what is that exterior angle here? That is angle PAC. So clearly angle PAC is equal to sum of two interior opposite angle. Once again, this is an exterior angle. And exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angle. That's a property. So we can write this angle PAC is equal to sum of two interior. That is angle 3 plus angle 4. So we can uh, write this as uh, say equation 2. Further, what we can see that PAC is actually made of angle 1 and angle 2. And they're equal as well. Uh, that's because angle 1 is equal to angle 2. And this is because this is uh, AD bisects the exterior angle PAC. It's already given that this line AD is bisecting this exterior angle. This exterior angle is bisected by AD. So clearly we have these angle 1 and angle 2 are equal. We can write this as given or you may write AD bisects. You may write AD bisects angle PAC. So over here I can write this as given. Now, once we have angle 1 is equal to angle 2, let's mark this as equation 3. We are once again going to use this 
I can split this angle PAC. This angle PAC, as you can see, this angle PAC is made from angle one and angle two. So I can write this angle PAC starting from here only. I can write this PAC as angle one plus angle two. This is angle one plus angle two. And this is three plus four, angle three plus angle four. Is there our in our mind, mind that we need to prove angle two and angle three as equal? So we'll be sub doing some substitution here. I can write angle one as angle two because we have proved this angle one is equal to angle two. And similarly, we can replace this angle four with angle three as we know that three and four are equal. And why we are doing so by substituting like this, because we know that we have to prove angle three is equal to angle four. That's there in our mind that we need to prove angle three and angle four as equal. And that's the reason we are looking for this. So we can write angle one as angle two. I'm replacing angle one with angle two. Let's say two be two only. Next we have angle three should be angle three only. But angle four, I can see angle, I can write angle four as angle three. That is from uh, these two equations, that is first and third. Now this will be angle two plus angle two is nothing but twice angle two and angle three plus angle three can be written as twice angle three. Now we can cancel these two and these twice, two, two and two get canceled. So we got angle two is equal to angle three. As we can see that uh, this is what they have asked in the first part, right? Later, you can even substitute angle two as angle DAC and rewrite this two as angle DAC. This is angle DAC only and angle three as angle BCA. So we have done the first part. Now, when we read the second part, what does it say? So we have to prove ABCD is a parallelogram. Next, we have to prove this figure ABCD as a parallelogram. So how can you prove this figure as a parallelogram? We need to prove ABCD. That means this being a parallelogram. Well, as I see that we have already given one side as parallel, like CD is already given parallel. So once we know that one pair of opposite side is parallel, it's target to prove the other pair as parallel. So how can we prove these two? That is this pair as parallel. So I mean to say, we know one pair is parallel. We are not to need to prove this being parallel to this. We need to prove this being parallel to this. Let's see how we can do this. Since we have already proved uh, these two angles, that is angle DAC is equal to angle BCA, as you know that these are alternate interior angles, right? These are alternate interior angles with respect to these two lines where this being the transversal where AC is the transversal as you can see clearly these are alternate interior angles we have proved these two angles that is angle 2 is equal to angle 3 so we can straight away write uh, angle or we can straight <coughs> write that is AD parallel to BC as you can see that alternate interior angles are equal as alternate you can write as a reason here so let's say place in a bracket as alternate interior angles are equal so we can write this as parallel say this is uh, we can mark this as equation five or say four and we have the other pair of opposite sides as parallel like cd being parallel to ab and I'm marking this as equation five. So we can, what we conclude, when two pairs of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are parallel, that means this already being given parallel to this, and we prove these two lines as parallel, so clearly it becomes a parallelogram. So simply we'll be writing from one and two, that is from, that's not one and two, that is three, four, and five, that is equation four and five, we say that A, B, C, D, is a parallelogram and that's how this question can be done.